or California homes have been entered into the formal foreclosure process. Valley View's Kelsey Partipillo reports how some people are able to benefit from the foreclosures. This is just one of the many Simi Valley homes that has been foreclosed on. Bank of America has foreclosure listings all around the city that range anywhere from $200,000 to $700,000. Bank of America led the foreclosure process last quarter with more than 14,000 default filings. Even though the number of default notices increased, the amount of homes actually taken back by the bank continued to decline. Short sale purchases contributed to the statewide resale activity. According to DataQuick, short sale purchases showed a slight improvement over last quarter. The transactions where the sale price fell short of what was owed on the property has helped many people and families get into homes for the first time. Homeowner Shannon Birch used this short sale process to help her buy this Simi Valley home about a year ago. The short sale process allowed us to get this home at a cheaper price. Um, the short sale basically allowed the owners of the home to sell the, the home for less than they um, owed on it. So we were able to get a good deal on the house. DataQuick says short sale prices made up more than 17% last quarter compared to more than 14% of resales in 2009. This home that was built in 1962 has boards over the windows and insulation torn out of the walls. While this home built more than five years ago appeared to be in a much better condition. DataQuick has reported that more than 70,000 new California homes have received notices of default. Reporting in Simi Valley, this is Kelsey Partipillo for Valley View News.